And today is uh, Thursday, yeah. Chapter three. Coordination or chapter three. Coordination double O. Coordination. and uh, responses. And the first part is um, Gonna discuss the hemor hemostasis in humans. This one is Homeostasis in humans, huh? What the biggest homeostasis in humans? Okay. So what does a hemostasis? Definition of hemostasis is the maintenance. Huh? Hemostasis is the maintenance of body internal. Definition, uh, definition, definition. Hemostasis is is the maintenance. Then T E T E of body internal environmental environment. such as internal environmental huh? we have a, a lot of such as number one is uh, temperature and the second one is uh, water level Stable state. There's the almost this is. Masuk-masuk, masuk. Dah masuk tapi tak ada pun. Ini 
going to mute me, but I'm completely dependent on you. Kemudian pelajar lagu ni, hmm, tak tahu cara masuk. Kemudian tekan warna biru tu. Pelajar lagu. Pelajar baru, pelajar baru. Izifah dah masuk belum? Belum masuk lagi ni. Okay, dah siap. Dah tengok itu dah masuk ke kawan ni. Oh kawan. Orang dah bulan lapan dah. Karijah. Siapa Karijah binti Azri ni? Adik Mariam. Mariam use your MOE. Use your ID. Dah siap belum kelas? Hello? Oh. Okay, one jujur, one jujur. Attendant for signs. One setia. Enam orang lagi belum hantar. Ahmad Yusuf. Kuan Yi. Isaac. Natalie. Nur Kristina. Sing Wei Jin. Attendant for signs. Ingatlah hari ni ada dua attendance. First, uh, APDM. Second, uh, your signs. Okay, this is a link for one setia. Huh? Attendance, uh, one setia. Check box. Saya dah share lah. Turn in your attendance. Ada enam orang ni. Belum hantar ni. Sing Wei Jin. Belum hantar lagi. Satu jujur. Satu jujur. Uh. Oh, nak izin fun. Tak hantar pun. Tak pandai lagi pun dah. Kehadiran and then hantar. Then masuk. Masuk. GM. Lantai. Mm -hmm. Kesian kawan awak ni. Ketinggalan zaman. Tinggal dalam zaman. Okay, thank you. Yang dah siap bagus. Dua puluh orang saja siap. Yang lain tak buat tu. Yang lain tidak buat. Yusifah dah masuk belum? Belum, belum, belum lagi ni. Eh, saya mau setel budak Apa masalahnya Tik lah kehadiran tu Anda tak Okay, saya teruskan. Okay, 
saya balik uh, textbook saya tadi balik textbook apa textbook cakap <coughs> so humans and living things move all the time so how does a humans and living things regulate the internal environment uh, inside the body so we're gonna cover in this uh, topic uh. so this is a keyword uh, the new work uh, in this chapter, homeostasis, uh, transpiration, pulse count, regulation, response, and biological action. So, so in the living things, uh, we have uh, the specific process, uh, which is uh, homeostasis, which is uh, we control, uh, we control in balance or stable state. Uh, the temperature and the water level. So, okay, this is uh, the definition. Kita dah, uh, kita sudah bincang tadi. Okay, this is a uh, definition. And then, uh, banyak lagi internal environment. So, but this topic just focus, uh, just focus to the temperature and water. Okay, kita ada lagi um, internal environment, pH and blood pressure. Tapi in this chapter cuma bincang uh, itu saja. Okay, ada sikit pH dan blood pressure. So, to be in balance and stable condition. This is the homeostasis uh, means. Okay, and then... The maintenance of the internal environment in the body of the end organism in a balanced and stable condition allows all the living process in the body of the organism to work well. Bila kita siap, kita akan dapat bekerja dengan baik lah. Ataupun the... Um, the living process in the body, yeah? living process such as breathing and so on, um, going well. If the internal condition is not balanced, for example, the temperature is too high, which is a kita demam, huh? the cell of the organism may die. Yeah? So this is when the temperature is too high. So when the temperature is too high, badan kita terlalu panas, huh? the cell in the body boleh mati. So akhir sekali kita mati control your temperature not to hide. So how much this is in humans? Okay, any explanation? Uh, how the oven works? Macam tu lah manusia juga works. Huh? How you ever use an oven? Do you know? The thermostat is used to control temperature of an oven. Okay, this button, huh? this not button to control the temperature. If the thermostat detects the temperature of the oven too high, the heating function in the oven will switch off. So nowadays we have uh, innovation, so automatically we uh, switch off uh, and the temperature will decrease. Kalau zaman dahulu dia tidak ada switch off, dia akan terus terbakar dan boleh jadi uh, uh, akan explode lah this oven rosak meletup. If the thermostat detects the temperature of the oven is too low, the heating function in the oven will switch off to increase the temperature. This is an uh, innovation of um, oven thermostat function to control the temperature. Uh, temperature. So, so the thermostat, thermostat detects the temperature of the oven. Oh, saya boleh guna ini. Okay, and then uh, lastly, okay, there's the thermostat of an oven. And then uh, this process, uh, the same goes to our body, which has a mechanism that can regulate body temperature, water content, and others to be in balance and a stable condition. So this is uh, the importance of uh, hemostasis. Oh, 
Okay, we get one importance here. Hemostasis in our body allows processes in the body to function efficiently. Efficiently, yeah. efficiently. This is the one uh, importance of hemostasis. Okay, this is uh, the diagram of the hemostasis. When the internal environment in our body, such as uh, temperature, for example, temperature, when the temperature increase, T, the arrow increase. The control center at the brain. So our control center is located at brain, eh? or we call it brain as uh, the uh, control center. We'll detect the change. A corrective mechanism will then take place and the temperature will reduce to its normal range. Okay, the normal uh, body temperature. What is our normal body temperature, class? What is our normal range of body temperature? Normal range, normal range, normal of body temperature. Yes, can kita familiar with uh, 37.5. If you have uh, the temperature with uh, 37.5 and above, you are not allowed to enter any premises. Huh? So we have uh, the range here is in between 36.1 to 37.2. That's the uh, normal, uh, normal body temperature, 36.1 to, okay, let me take uh, this note, normal range of body temperature, okay, 36.1, okay, let me take a note, normal range, okay, your uh, next note is uh, normal range of body temperature. is in between 36.1 Celsius to 37.2 Celsius. This is a normal, uh, normal, normal range of body temperature. Ada nampak tak ni? Ada. So, um, okay, kalau kita demam itu, the temperature uh, higher than 37.5 lah. Uh, ataupun betul-betul uh, sakit mungkin uh, our temperature boleh increase until 38. So ini dangerous lah. Huh? Kalau fever, kalau you get fever, fever. 38. Dah just Celsius. Okay. And then, uh, sangat bahaya lah. Uh, semua sel dalam badan kita akan mati lah kalau uh, this uh, temperature higher, getting higher. So lastly, uh, sangat bahaya. Jangan bahaya. Jadi, we have to control our temperature. Okay, makan ubat uh, untuk reduce. Kalau badan you bagus, dia akan uh, control uh, by hemostasis process in this one. Kalau tak bagus, kena jumpa doktor lah, pergi klinik ataupun sebagainya. Okay, next one is, um, okay, when the body temperature, when the body temperature decrease, the uh, corrective mechanism will take place and the temperature will rise, it uh, will rise to its normal range. So, this is the uh, diagram. So let me copy this diagram in the notebook, which is a uh, tempat. Okay. So 
paste in your notebook the diagram for MSTCS. Okay, copy it with your simple one. Pandai, you can pandai copy huh, with simple one. Kelas kita habis tiga setengah, mungkin uh, pukul tiga habis lah. Kita akan cuba uh, discuss this one and then uh, buat latihan sikit. Uh, Izifah tak masuk-masuk lagi ni. Tak masuk lah. Tak masuk lah. Izifah, hmm. hmm. Izifah. Hilang. Hmm. Oh, ada di atas. Hmm, ini tak ada pula. Belum hantar. Belum hantar. Okay, finish. And this mechanism is uh, uh, automatically, yeah, automatic by our body system. Lah. Our body system, kita bagus, so it will. Uh, uh, kalau our brain, uh, our brain, which is our control center there. Uh, control center is good. So uh, this corrective mechanism uh, going works uh, works works well. Uh, works well. Going well. Control center is the brain. Uh, the brain is our Okay, when the temp normal temperature increase, the brain uh, detects and then uh, it will uh, correct it and then um, the temperature decrease and go back to the normal temperature range. Sama juga when the normal temperature decrease, uh, sejuk, uh, the, our body getting cool, so the brain will control uh, and then will correct it. Then uh, lastly, we get the normal temperature range. Okay, satu minit lagi untuk siap. Saya ada tangan ni, ada lima orang tangan. Ada tangan, lima tangan orang sudah siap. I have six, eight. Okay, group member tadi ada jalan tau. Oh, we have uh, seven group now. Okay, bagus. So, I can share this one to uh, WhatsApp group.
today's activity. Okay, so I said, uh, so I probably stop this one. Uh, Okay. Jangan stop, nanti ada second wipe Siapa yang buat second wipe pun dah hello uh, uh, Jangan buat macam-macam uh. so, Jangan buat macam-macam Stay at your Google Meet, finish your notebook Siapa yang tengah typing tu uh. oh, Tengok dah anda bergerak dah Saya stop dahulu this one supaya you dapat fokus. Thank you for your response. Okay. Information is updated. So thank you. So you cannot uh, change anymore. Dah cacau murbang lah ni. Stiker-stiker dah jadi terabur. Okay, let me download it first. Download and share to the WhatsApp group. Okay, next one, next one. Saya rasa ramai yang dah siap. Farhan, stay at your notebook. Siapkan notebook ni. Okay, okay. Let me uh, lower down. 13 orang saja buat note. Yang lain tak buat. Okay, seterusnya. Uh, hemostasis is uh, important to human. Among the most important hemostasis in the body are uh, the regulation of water. So we have two uh, hemostasis process and body temperature. Hemostasis. Okay, the next notes is. Uh, Okay, we have uh, the first one is um, uh, regulation of water. And the second one is uh, regulation of Body temperature. So, say that stop uh, the link to whiteboard so you can focus to your notebook for a while. Uh, the second activity after this, which is uh, completing the workbook, page 36 and 37. Dua asas, eh? Dua pages saja. Pukul dua, enam belas sudah. Okay, the next note is um, regulation of water content. Regulation of water content. System that are involved in water regulation are the excretory system and endocrine system. Example of organ involved are kidneys and brain. 
So these two organ mostly uh, related to the regulation of water content. Okay, the brain is the control center. Okay, firstly, when uh, the normal water level is increased, when we uh, drink a lot of water, uh, the water content in the body increase when we drink a lot of water or drink uh, water, drink water. So detect by brain. So our brain will control. And then the corrective uh, mechanism, the brain will stimulate the secretion secretion of a hormone so that the kidney increase the production of urine so more urine is produced uh, bila minum banyak so kita akan kencing banyak uh. the, the lastly we can get the water content in the body decrease or the normal water level uh, achieve uh, where we drink a lot So let me discuss the water, water regulation of water first. Okay, let me open the next book, next uh, next page. Regulation of water. Regulation of water. Regulation of water content. Tambah sikit lagi. Water content. Water content. Okay, we have uh, the we have the normal line yeah the normal line is uh, the normal water line this is a uh, normal water level okay and then uh, we have a uh, okay, Okay, bila kita increase, uh, when the water level is increase, increase. Increases. So our brain will detect it. Brain. So brain. So I bought simple saja. So brain. Detect by brain, huh? detect. Yes, detected by brain. Then the brain uh, control or the brain stimulate the secretion of hormone, which is uh, we call it correction, corrective mechanism. Okay, under this corrective mechanism, you can refer to the textbook. Huh? So, I take the uh, the important part of this secretion of hormone. Huh? 
and then uh, during this uh, corrective mechanism, uh, production of urine increase. Of urine. Okay, and then the third one is uh, more urine. Okay. And then lastly, water content in the body decrease. Upon the can achieve. Achieve. Normal water level uh, achieve and uh, corrective system corrective mechanism apply okay what happened where we uh, didn't drink or we get a uh, sweat a lot the normal water level decrease uh, Bila kita minum, 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 drink, drink water. Ni sweat. Suana sweat. Ataupun tidak minum. Okay, so the water level, the water, no, water, normal water level will decrease. Boleh ya? Lepas ikut ya? And then, um, it will detect by brain. Okay, our brain I can detect. Low tap of those detect lah. Oh, then our tap I can this brain I can uh, uh, go through with a uh, corrective mechanism. So during this uh, corrective mechanism, the brain will stimulate the secretion of hormones. Sama juga. Dia akan secret a hormone. So that the kidney will decrease. Uh, the hormone ini akan uh, bagi tahu kidney to decrease. Decrease the production of urine. So, ahi sekali, we can uh, feel thirsty. Okay. So, lastly, uh, lastly, we can achieve the normal water level. Well, thirsty, so kita akan minum after we drink, we get we can get the water content in the body increase. Water content in the body increase. Ataupun tanpa minum, kita, because uh, we can uh, control the water level, we've uh, decreased the production of urine, and then, uh, tapi kita akan rasa uh, thirsty lah. So, The normal water level achieved. Oh, what? I do a stone. Yeah, that's it. That's all I give regulation. Of body temperature. Oh, kemudian, uh, uh, sebelum tu saya nak kita tengok dahulu video. Saya buka video sambil tunggu kawan-kawan yang lain. Okay, let me lower down your hand. 
Thank you for your response. Uh, next one is uh, let me uh, study this video. Let's look, Let's look at the two, at the two pictures, pictures, A and B. In picture A, it's a hot day, and the temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. Michael is sweating and feeling very hot. In picture B, it is snowing. Jeff is shivering and feeling very cold. How do human bodies maintain homeostasis when the surrounding temperature changes? What is meant by homeostasis? Homeostasis refers to the maintenance of a stable internal environment in the body of an organism. Factors such as temperature, water, pH, and blood pressure are in a balanced and stable condition. Homeostasis allows all living processes in the body to function efficiently. Now let's take a look at the homeostatic control process. When the internal environment in our body, such as the body temperature, increases, the control center in the brain will detect the change. A corrective mechanism will then take place and the temperature will decrease to its normal range. When the body temperature decreases, the control center in the brain will detect the change. A corrective mechanism will take place and the temperature will increase to its normal range. Let's look at how homeostasis maintains the water content in the human body. When we drink water, the water content in the body increases. The brain will detect the change and a corrective mechanism will then take place. The brain will stimulate the secretion of a hormone so that the kidneys will increase the production of urine. More urine is produced and the water content in the body decreases back to normal. On the other hand, when we sweat, the water content in the body decreases. The brain will detect the change and a corrective mechanism will then take place. The brain will stimulate the secretion of a hormone so that the kidneys will decrease the production of urine. The person will also feel thirsty and will drink more water. The water content in the body increases back to normal. What happens when our body temperature increases on a hot day? The brain will detect the change and a corrective mechanism will then take place. The blood vessels dilate, hair lies flat, and sweating increases. The activity of skeletal muscles and secretion of certain hormones are reduced. Less urine is produced and the body temperature decreases back to normal. On a cold day, our body temperature decreases. The brain will detect the change and a corrective mechanism will then take place. The blood vessels constrict, hair stands erect, and sweating decreases. Skeletal muscles will contract and relax actively and cause an individual to shiver to increase the body temperature. Certain hormones will be secreted to increase the rate of body metabolism and the body temperature increases back to normal. What is the function of the skin in regulating body temperature? In a warm environment, the blood vessels dilate to allow more blood flow close to the skin to increase heat loss. Hair lies flat and very little air is trapped. In this way, heat is easily lost. The sweat glands produce more sweat to cool the skin when sweat is evaporated. In a cold environment, the blood vessels constrict to reduce blood flow to the skin to reduce heat loss. Hair becomes erect and traps a thick layer of air that acts as a heat insulator. Less sweat is produced and heat is conserved. What about homeostasis in animals? A dog hangs out its tongue to cool its body. A cat licks its fur to cool its body. The fur of cats and dogs becomes erect to trap heat and keep their bodies warm on a cold day. How do reptiles such as lizards maintain homeostasis when the surrounding temperature changes? In a cold environment, 
lizards become less active. Their muscles function more slowly, metabolism rate decreases, and body temperature decreases. In a warm environment, their heart beats faster, movements become faster, metabolism rate increases, and body temperature increases. How do snails and bees maintain homeostasis when the surrounding temperature increases? Snails lose a lot of water through evaporation from the skin surface. Snails produce slime and move to humid places to reduce water loss by evaporation. Bees have a waxy skin layer to prevent excess loss of water by evaporation. Bees close their spiracles between two breathing movements to reduce loss of water. Who's ready to hatch some cool? Okay, so from the video, we uh, can get the info about regulation of water content and one more is regulation of body temperature. Uh, so the next activity before 3 o'clock, before 3 o'clock is the group activity. Uh, regulation of body temperature, you can refer to the textbook, uh, textbook notes. Then uh, let me start the group activity. Uh, I'm going to share the Kami link to the group number two. Okay, group number, wait a minute, group number two, wait a minute. Okay, group number two. Um, Complete page uh, 36. Okay, let me share this link. Group number two. Okay, group number two. Okay, who is the group number two? We refer to the whiteboard. Huh? Whiteboard number one, my whiteboard number one. Group number two, Hubert, Sim, Weijin, and Jack. Huh? Complete page 36. So I'm going to share in the chat box. Uh, group Okay, this is a link for page uh, 36, group number two. Okay, go. Group number two. Okay, group number... Mm. Page 6, 37. Okay, page uh, 37. Page 37, group number three. Okay, in 10 minutes, you discuss with your friend, complete this uh, page 37. And this page uh, 37, I'm going to share this uh, page to group number three. Okay, page uh, 37. Group number three, group number three, group number three. Okay, group number three. Group number three, Anissa, Haliza, Ariela, Alia, and Norifa. So complete page at 37 with your answer. Uh, link side library in the chat room, uh, chat, uh, chat box here. Yeah? So group number three, you boleh mula sekarang. Kita akan bincang uh, jawapan uh, 2.45 later, 2.50. I give you 10 minutes uh, to complete. Okay, next one is uh, page 38. Saya rasa boleh. Page 38. Page 38, I'm going to share to um, group number 4. Page uh, 38. I'm going to share page 38 with uh, group number four. Group number four, editor, editor. Okay, group number four. Page uh, 38, group number four. 
Oke, okay, chat box, chat your chat box, chat box uh, to receive the uh, link. So, group number four, siapa group number four tadi? Okay, this is group number four, Koyi, Catherine and Alexis. Complete page 38. Okay, and then uh, group number group number five. I'm gonna share to you page uh, thirty uh, page thirty six with different uh, different link. Okay, let me copy this one. Uh, duplicate this one. Proceed, proceed, yeah, proceed. I can go in here. Group number five. Group number Number five. Room number five, uh, complete this page, page uh, 36. Huh? Let's say I can share this one to chat box. So we have uh, two group with uh, page 36. Happy group number five, uh, you receive the the, the new link, yeah, this I can share. Okay, this one. I'm going to share to the group number five. Okay, this is a page uh, 36 for group number five. Okay, go. Okay, group number five. Apa itu tadi ya? Okay, group number five. Uh, Nicole, Liu, Anis, Lau, and Jetan Singh. Complete page thirty-six. Second link as I shared just now. Uh, page thirty-six for group number five. Okay, page uh, thirty-six. The first one, page uh, thirty-six with. Uh, Group number two is done. Okay, bagus. So I can uh, stop sharing this link. Thank you. Now I'm going to check the answer. Lah, oh. Then we're going to discuss together after this. Either the answer is correct or not. Let me... Okay, picture 37, sudah. Okay, in progress. Okay, bagus. You guna pen lah. Bagus. Uh, siapa ni? Siapa guna pen lah? Anissa got pen lah. Okay, bagus. So you can uh, get uh, any pen lah uh, for tablet. Any pen, electronic pen. Or you just use a mouse. Siapa tulis ni? Page 37. You use a pen or what? Electronic pen, right? You can use textbook too, huh? Color uh, your handwriting is not uh, good. Uh, use uh, your hand. Okay, what day? Okay, you're gonna telephone. Uh, use telephone or what? Share to the class. How do you uh, write in the, okay, you use telephone, mesti telefon you besar, your finger uh, small, normal finger. Okay, cuba boleh, boleh, you writing boleh, no problem. But setempat mungkin susah, you can use a textbook. Huh? <clears throat> okay, how about the other page? Page uh, 38 sudah progress kah? 
Okay, about those. Then uh, page, uh, okay, this group page, group number five, huh? page 36, group number five. 36. 36. Second, 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 36. Okay, second, second, 36. Siapkan, hello? Ada ya? Teruskan, 3, 8. Page 37, almost, uh, almost finish. So answer the, the English part. Huh? Choose the best answer from the blue box here. Then uh, group number six, seven, wait for the, maybe next week lah, huh? group six, seven. Kita akan bincang sekejap lagi, so kita biarkan uh, your friend uh, to complete. Pelajar lain, cu boleh cuba buat dahulu, huh? page uh, 36, 37 and 38. Everybody... Uh, Two fifty, uh, two fifty. We discuss the answer.
Discuss the answer page by page. So let me start with uh, page uh, 36. What is uh, meant by hemostasis? The maintenance of body. Um, the maintenance of body internal environment. The correct one is internal environment, not a system. So please correct it. So this is wrong. And then the correct one is uh, internal. Internal environment. Right. Okay. Next one is um, uh, such as uh, temperature, water, and pH, so that they in balance. Okay, correct. In balance and stable condition. Without D, yeah, balance. A stable condition. Okay, good. Next one is uh, the regulation of water in the human body involves the excretory and adductrine uh, systems. Complete the statement below. So we have uh, the normal water level here. The, the first one is uh, water content in the body increase, uh, drinking. So the, um, the brain stimulates the secretion of type of hormone. And then uh, the uh, corrective mechanism, the kidney add um, more water. Okay, good, correct. And the urine causing a uh, big uh, volume. Okay, good, correct. And then uh, lastly, the water content in the body decrease. 
decrease eh? whether for what fall here or not decrease decrease the best the best word is uh, decrease Okay. Got it. And then um, when the when the water level decrease, which is a uh, sweating, the brain stimulate the secretion of type of hormone, and then the kidney has uh, uh, less water. All right. To the urine, causing a small volume. Okay, good. Of urine to be produced then uh, we feel thirsty the water content in the body uh, increase increase rise or increase oh, let me double check there is no uh, selected uh, Increase, increase, um, rice, increase or rice. Okay, boleh, boleh. Tadi jawapan tadi betul lah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, rice. Then tadi jawapan, uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, betul, betul, betul. Uh, you select the correct word. Betul, betul, betul. Sorry, sorry. So, water content in the body falls uh, for the above part. For the below part, the water content of the body rise. Hmm. My text, my to my workbook is different answer. So we have a uh, two answer here. Kalau tidak diberi uh, uh, jawapan uh, above, so we can ch uh, choose any words false or decrease. The second one is increase. Or the word rice. Okay, finish uh, page 36. Okay, now page uh, 37. Page uh, 37, let me stop sharing first. That's how you do Page uh, 37. The regulation of temperature of a human body involves uh, accessory, blood uh, circulatory, adaptorine, and muscular system. Complete the statement below. Okay, the first one. The first one is when the body temperature 37. 37, this is a, this is a normal temperature, huh? normal range. And then uh, when uh, we get uh, the body is too hot, uh, effort the hypothalamus hot center so um so what will happen to our body first the sweating activity uh increase sweating increase here increase hair lies uh, flat okay correct and close to the skin okay correct blood vessel in the skin uh, dilates the secretion of certain hormone decrease hormones and the body metabolic uh, rate decrease decreases and then a little urine a little So during hot day, we produce a small volume of urine. Huh? So B1 is the body becomes cool, huh? become cool, not hot. Because 
because the uh, after corrective mechanism, uh, the body becomes cold, and then the temperature, body temperature becomes uh, normal. Uh, achieve a normal range, thirty-seven degrees Celsius. Okay. The second one is when the uh, body is too cold, so we have a uh, relax actively. Causing the body, uh, okay, better, shiver. And then hair stands on end. The blood vessel in the skin constrict. Constrict here, not increase. Constrict. C O N S T R I S C. Constrict. Uh, stand up. Uh, certain hormones are secreted and metabolic uh, rate increase. Ini, uh, ini based on the video tadi ya. Sebab kita didn't uh, discuss about the temperature details. Nanti kita tengok bincang lagi lah. Okay, so D1 is the body become uh, normal or, or hot. So, but the original one is cool. Now the body getting hot. Okay, page uh, thirty seven. Finish. Three o'clock already. Napa kecap tak napa? So the last page for today is uh, page uh, thirty eight. Let me stop the sharing uh, link. Okay, this is a page, um, page uh, 38, identify the types of animal that maintain hemostasis against environmental temperature change. Okay, kita ada selected uh, animal here. So, lick fur on the body. Okay, cat, correct. Uh, flaps their ears, elephant, correct. Hides in the shade, uh, chameleon, all right, and then uh, sticks their tongue out, okay, dog, and then hippotamus uh, stays in the water, and then uh, produce mucus uh, snail. Okay, and then uh, the way they warm the body when it is cool, Pull, okay, pull up, puff up the fur, which is a rabbit. Yes, rabbit. The second one is polar bear here, also accepted. Polar bear. Okay, hatch thick fat layer beneath the skin. So we have a seal polar bear. And the second one is polar bear. Okay, and then hibernate is uh, we have a snake, not a polar bear. Snake, 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 snake. Okay, and then uh, the dapat follow ah, laju sangat dia. Boleh ya, boleh follow. Dan habiskan cepat ni. Okay, question number two, underline the correct answer. So, banana trees roll up, correct, during hot day because they want to reduce the loss of water through transpiration, water, correct. Okay, the stoma, ini kita bincang details, uh, maybe next class lah, huh? the stoma is open, yes, open during daytime to release excess uh, Water, we have water here, no air, water, water. Through respiration or transpiration, 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 correct. To cool the plant, okay, correct. They release the water, extra excess water to cool the plant, the plant. So during hot water, 
during hot weather, stomach is closed want to prevent or to reduce the water loss. Water, water, the correct water. Okay, group number five, thank you. So you can uh, check yourself to this. So the last part for today is I'm going to share my whiteboard once again. Okay, can you give a sticky note for today? Lesson with your response. So thank you everyone in the uh, whiteboard number two. Eh? Whiteboard number two. So uh, minus and I'm moving. Move to second white box. Okay, this is a nice sticky. I'm gonna share uh, my white box. Kali lagi ya. Okay, copy. I'm gonna share at the chat box. Uh, give uh, your response for for today. Today's, today's lesson. Uh, thank you, thank you for your effort. Yes, and then your name, huh? Bagi sticker saya, bagi sticker sticker for today. Okay, and then you can leave the meeting lah after that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your effort today. Okay, after you give uh, some uh, sticky, uh, sticky note here, you can leave this meeting. That's all for today. Thank you, thank you very much. Give sticker, sticker to uh, science today. So thank you for today class. Huh? Thank you. See you again next uh, next Tuesday. Huh? Tuesday, yes, next Tuesday. Okay, thank you, Koyi. Satora saja. Saya share lagi sekali ya, the link, the link, okay. Buat tak? Satu orang je. Okay, bagi stiker lah, bagi stiker. Bagi stiker at a whiteboard. Give stiker in whiteboard. Oh, uh, tak boleh tulis lah, use a, ni. Eh. Use a stiker, no, no pen. Sticker cantik sikit. Give sticker, sticker, sticker. Hmm. Okay, saya akan share in the WhatsApp group. Thank you, thank you. See you again next um, uh, next Tuesday. And thank you, uh, Farhan. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Jujia. Thank you, Alia. Lima orang je, enam orang je. Bagi stiker, stiker, stiker. Uh, Tukar style baru, bagi stiker, give, give stiker to teacher. Start recording.